Hello everyone and welcome back to Higher Mathematics. In this video we are going to solve this interesting algebra problem. We have x to the fourth power equal to x minus 1 all raised to the fourth power. How can we solve this interesting question? We have fourth power so there's not like a, a casual second power or third power, we have the first power. So we need to solve this using the polynomial theorem because on the right hand side we have appearances so let's use polynomial theorem. So we will have on the left hand side x to the fourth power equal to and right here let's use polynomial theorem. What we will have x to the fourth power minus 4x cube plus 6x square minus 4x and plus 1. So this is the polynomial theorem we just raise this to the fourth power. So polynomial theorem raising to the fourth power. What are we going to do next? Let's bring all these elements on the on la left hand side and what we will have. We will have all the same but opposite signs and x to the fourth power we can cancel from here and from here. So we will have 4x cube, 4x cube and minus 6x square minus 6x square plus 4x minus 1 minus 1 equal to 0. So as you can see we have right now a cube a cube equation and we are going to, to solve it. How can you solve it? There are a lot of methods how can you solve it. We can use our special formulas right here but I want to show you a really good trick. Take a look if you multiply it by 2 all equation by 2 we will have 8x cubed so multiplying by 2 minus 12x square 12x square plus 8x and minus 2 equal to equal to 0. Why I multiply by 2? Because right now take a look we have 8x cube but 8 is equal to 2 cube so we can write it as 2x all raised to the third power. I hope you understand this step. And 12 we can write as minus 3 and times 2x to the second power and plus right here we factor out 4 or not factor but just write as 4 times 2x minus 2 equal to 0. So I hope you understand this step because I just write this 12x square as 3 times 2x to the second power so this is the same as this one or moreover than this one x 8x cube is the same as 2x raised to the third power so I hope you understand this step and moreover this 4 times 2x is the same as 8x. So I hope you understand this step. But right now, as you can see, we have all same elements 2x, 2x and 2x. So we can easily write a substitution. So let 2x equal, for example, let's equal to u, for example. And let's let's solve it just using u. What we will have right here, u cube minus 3u square and plus 4u and minus 2 equal to 0. So as you can see right now you have a, a really good equation because we don't have like a coefficient right here, we don't have any number, we have a classic cube equation. But how can we solve this cube equation? Let's use a, a classic method, let's find the factor of this minus 2 for example, we will have factors. What factors we will have? We will have 1, let's, let's start with positive 1, 1, 2, minus 1 for example, minus 2 and we will check check more later. So let's start for example with u equal to 1. What we will have? If u equal to 1 we will have that 1 we will have that 1 minus 3 plus 4 and minus 2 equal to 0. So let's check it. So 1 plus 4 5, 5 minus 3 2, 2 minus 2 0. So as you can see right now we real quick find our factor. So u minus 1 so u minus 1 is our factor, is our factor. So we need to factor out u minus 1 from this, from this equation. So we know that u minus 1 is our factor, so u minus 1 is our factor, and we need to find another parenthesis. So the second parenthesis equal to 0. But how can we find another parenthesis? I'm going to show you a really good approach how can we find. Equal right here we have u cube, so I, I write u cube, u cube. And I write this minus 3u square as minus u square and minus 2u square. And of course plus 2u right here, 2u and plus 2u, this is our 4u 
and minus 2 equal to 0. Why I write this expression? Because take a look. Right here, minus u square minus 2u square will be minus 3u square. The same as right here, as you can see. And 2u plus 2u is equal to 4u. So nothing changed. This is the same equation. But moreover, we can easily factor out from here u minus 1. Take a look. If you factor out from these two elements u, u square, we will have u minus 1. If you factor right here, we will have minus 2u square plus 2u. If you factor minus 2u, we will have u minus 1. And moreover, if you factor from the last right here, 2u minus 2, if you factor 2, we will have u minus 1. So really good, really good trick. I hope you understand this trick. So we just change 3 minus 3u three square using like that and 4u as 2u plus 2u. But right now, as you can see, we have u minus 1, u minus 1 and u minus 1. So we can factor out this u minus 1 factoring and as a parenthesis we'll have u square minus 2u and plus 2. So finally we just factor out them our equation so it's it's really good because right now we have parentheses times parentheses equal to zero so it's nothing harder than write that u minus one equal to zero from here u equal to one so this is the first u later we find our x and the second parentheses u square minus two u plus two equal to zero and from here we need to find our u as well let's start with this one how can you find this this will be our u first and right here we'll find u second and third. We all know ABC, ABC method, so I don't want to write this ABC once more. So right here, as you can see, we find have b equal to minus 2, so minus b equal to 2 plus minus our square root b square minus 4ac. We will have b square 4 minus 4 times 2. We will have 8, so minus 4 and over over 2. So this is our u second and third. And right now, as you can see, we have negative square root. So we will, right here we'll have complex roots. So we will have 2 plus minus. Right here we'll have 2i and over 2. Or it's better to divide elements by 2. We will have 1 plus minus i. And this will be our complex roots. So we have u first in real numbers and u second and third in, in complex numbers. So let's go to our substitution. So 2x equal to u. From here, 2x equal to u and x equal to 1 half. This is our first root. Because u equal to 1, so we just plug in this, this root. And we can easily find our complex roots. Because if we plug in right here, we will have that x second and third we will have one plus minus i over over two this is our second and third root so most people say that this method is is not good because for example you can easily write this as just rate, taking fourth root from both sides we will have x equal to absolute value x minus 1 yeah so you can easily take square root from both sides but right here in this case you will have this now this root x equal to one half but you don't you will not have complex roots because this method does not show you a complex root right here as you can see we find all root that this equation have so in real numbers one half and in complex number we will have two more roots so in this method you will not get complex roots but if you if its method is better for you, of course, you can you can use it. It's, it's a little bit faster, but if you want to solve completely this this problem, you need to use this this method. So I hope you understand this explanation. If you don't understand, write your question in comment, write your suggestion in comment. It will be really interesting to read about it. And of course, put your thumbs up, I really appreciate it, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next videos.